Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and this is our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 492, counting down to 500 YouTube classes. Who would have ever thought? Certainly not me. Thank you all for all the years of support and and fun and 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 getting to know you. This has been an amazing journey so far and well it's got a long way to go still. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> now I will tell you, I do have something very special planned for the, 500, the 500th YouTube class. I do. I have something very special for you and I'm excited. And I think that will happen to fall on National Scrapbooking Day. <gasps> I did not plan that. I did not, but oh. <laughs> It couldn't have happened. I mean, it was like two, two, two worlds collided and made a, a happiness. <laughs> National Scrapbooking Day and our 500th YouTube class. Oh, perfect, perfect. I couldn't have planned it any better, but I didn't. <laughs> That's fate for you, right? <laughs> so today, I hope you stay tuned. I hope you subscribe to our channel. I hope you are joining me Saturday morning at 8 a.m. sunny California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, or 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom because we are live chatting. You'll see live chat going on over here. People saying, hi, hi, it's good to see you. They may, they've never met on person. Most of these people on our live chat, they've never met in person and yet they have become such good friends. We all have become such good friends over the year through live chat. And then somebody will say, I'm from Portland, Oregon. And then somebody else will say, I'm in Portland, Oregon. And all of a sudden then they're off talking and, and they become crafty buddies and they, who knows what happens after that. They, they, they craft together. I'm in Florida. Are you in Florida? Who, if you're Polly, who's ready for a road trip to Florida? Because Polly, Polly is ready to host all of us. <laughs> Maybe not all at the same time. <laughs> so if you've never been part of our live chat before, please join us Saturday mornings. You'll find it, you'll find it fun and encouraging and welcoming and hopefully a little bit of inspiration as well. So so today, today, I have got a wonderful class for you. I don't have winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sorry. We are so short staffed right now. And James was trying to get so much done yesterday. He was trying to get all the emails done and get the payroll entered and, and, and that we ran out of time. And he is, he had a scheduled day off today. So it will have to wait until next week. And next week I will announce four winner, winner chicken dinners. But, and if you follow us on Facebook, there is a Facebook posting right now. I would recommend at some point today, you go find us on Facebook. You find that Facebook posting. We are giving away a Sizzix Big Shot machine. Hello. Now, now that is reason to go. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Cut you for you. So whoever wins that big shot machine, that is my winner, winner, chicken dinner dance for you in advance. And that is on our Facebook channel. So we are on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. We're, we're, we're everywhere. <laughs> Now today, today it is all about keeping crafting affordable. And when I say that you could make between 56 and 64 cards for, you'd need six of those at, at $4, so that's 20 for $34. If you could make 64 cards for $34, that's like 50 cents a card. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And if you don't need the card bases and envelopes, well then, hello, you could make 64 cards for 10 bucks. <laughs> I have got such beautiful product from, from Creative Expressions and the Paper Tree and Sizzix and Studio Light. Studio Light, we're going to have to have a conversation about because I need to make you aware of, I need to be Toofing. I need to make you aware that, that, well, I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. So today it's about keeping crafting affordable. It's about reaching the new bee crafters. Those of you who are just starting out, who want to feel accomplished, 
who want to finish a project and go, that's not half bad. <laughs> who want to build their confidence and give something to somebody that they are proud of. This is that class for you. But it is also that class for everybody who's been crafting like me forever, where we take something super, super simple and we elevate it to something wow. And for those newbie crafters, you may start your, your first 10 cards may be simple, simple, but all of a sudden that courage starts to bubble up in you and you start to feel a little bit, you get all those feels going on and you're like, I can do this and you can. So I'm gonna tilt down. I'm going to show you some samples really quick and then I'm gonna come back up because we do need to talk about the Studio Light product I have for you today. I want you to make an informed decision. I don't want you to, to place an order without knowing in advance what you're ordering and why it is the price that it is. Is that enough of a tease? <laughs> okay, down we go for samples and then back we come up for Studio Light. It is so good to be with you all. Now, it is Mr. SMS's birthday, and so the minute this live chat is done, I am off for the rest of Saturday and Sunday, and I am celebrating his birthday with him at Disneyland. Now, I would tell you how old he is, but I but to do that I would have to acknowledge how old I am. And since a lady never tells her age, I'm not going to tell you how old he is. <laughs> you guys would do the math and go, "Oh, Stacy is." And I'm like, "No, no, no." La 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 la. la. <laughs> so, let me get started for today. Let me show you some samples and then let's talk studio light, shall we? It's so good to be here with you. So good to have you as my friends and family, and many more years to come, truly. <laughs> All right, down we go, bye. All right, let's zoom on in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Every time I say that, I hear that Mazda commercial from years ago. Glasses, yeah, I need them. All right, so, isn't that beautiful? Stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Stunning. <laughs> Hello. So these four cards were made to go as a set, as if you were going to give somebody four cards that they then could use to give to their friends and family. Lovely. So we will get back to we will get back to these. All right. So I've got Creative Expressions. I've got the Paper Tree, which is distributed by Creative Expressions. I've got Sizzix. I've got Studio Light. I've got a little bit of everything, but let's talk Studio Light first. And I need to look at you. I don't know. I was always taught to look at somebody when I talk to them. And granted, it's through the TV. I understand that or your computer or your device or whatever it is. But still, I, I do believe that you are there. It's very weird. <laughs> okay, so I bought some Studio Light product, Sight Unseen. I saw it, I took a gamble. It was the right gamble to take. I knew the product would be beautiful when it got here. And it was, except it came in damaged. Not all of it, but most of it came in damaged. So I thought, Stacy, what do I do? Because, you know, I bought about 50 of each of these, which is a lot for us. And I thought, what do I do with these? Do I call the company I bought them from and return them because more came damaged than I realized? And I thought, no, no, what's in, the part that isn't damaged is so good that maybe Maybe I should offer it to you and let you decide whether you want it or not. I can always return it if I need to, but if you are on a crafty budget, this is for you, honestly, because the part that is damaged 
has nothing to do with the with the actual item. I know it's crazy. You're like, okay, just get to it, girlfriend. You've talked long enough. But I have to tell you, these are all sales final. And in fact, if you go into the description online, and it is online only, if you go into the description online, if you click into the item, you will see in big red letters I put, all sales final, this product may arrive to you damaged. But it's the outer box that's damaged, not the inner goods. And it's the inner stuff that you want, not really the outer stuff. So I'm leaving it to you to make an informed decision. We have discounted it down to, I think, $6.99. I'd rather let you have an opportunity to get something that you might not be able to afford elsewhere, even though there's a dent in it, and yes, there's a dent in it, than, than to just send them back and take that opportunity away from somebody who truly is on a crafty budget. I leave the decision to you. All right, are you ready to see? Okay, down we go. So, like I said, we have a less than 50 of each. We're only going to do them online because I can't pull for the store. There's just not enough product for me to pull from the store. What is it? Well, it's ink. There is 12 cubes of ink in each set. These are the blue. Oh, so you can already see. These are the blues and the purples. This is a dye based reactive ink, which means it's a beautiful dye based ink to stamp with or to blend or to color. But then if you hit it with a little water, like Tim Holtz Distress Inks, it's going to react. 12 inks for $6.99 because the tins are dented. Now I have a whole story about a dented about dented cans with my mom. I have an entire story about it and it's on a YouTube and I thought who am I to 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 just send them back without giving somebody else the opportunity to take a dented can home with them. $6.99 gets you all 12 inks. So that's the blues and the purples. Then I have the oranges, the yellows, and the grays, $6.99. Dented can. Now they all didn't come in dented, but I can't guarantee that when I ship them to you, they won't get dented. The tins are very, very thin. Here we have the reds and the pinks. Now it might not matter to you at all when they're sitting on your table. You might, who, I mean, who knows, who cares, right? <laughs> but if it is important to you that it be pristine, this is not that. You may, I, I, I don't know, you may be able to find them someplace else, but I would just be very leery if they don't tell you that they may dent in transport. And then last but not least, we have the greens. So I've got four color palettes. They're by Studio Light, so you know the ink is good. They just went too thin on the tin. They went, <laughs> that rhymed, they went too thin on the tin. And I know that there's been other companies, other designers who have done tins that have had the same issue where they didn't realize it was going to dent, and they did. Um, it happens. This is how it's going to come to you. But again, it may look like that. So are you a dented can type of gal or guy who wants what's on the inside and doesn't care about the tin on the outside? If so, and if a crafty budget is something that you have to be thoughtful of, then these might be the way to go when you're getting 12 colors for $6.99. It's, it's a great value. It really is a great value. So that is that is the studio light, and that's what I want to talk to you about first. Next, I think I'm going to go into the paper tree. So I've got several different collections from the paper tree. Some of them have 56 pads, some of them have 64 or 64 sheets, and these are card toppers. And I'm going to tell you, they are stunning. Not a little stunning, 
they are a lot stunning. This one has 56 and eight designs, so that would be seven of each design. Uh, Claire, Claire has claimed the birds for herself. This, this is one of the topper pads that um, she, when I'm done with it, she has already claimed this one because you get the birds, you get two birds seven times. She's in love with the birds. So I've got four different topper pads. Again, not huge quantities, but beautiful. And if you are a newbie crafter, this is where we're gonna start. This is where you're going to know that you are gonna be able to make something and give something and have it look beautiful when you're just starting out. So being that the paper tree is a UK company, these are A6 size. Do you know what else comes A6 size? Well, that global company called Sizzix, they make their cards and envelopes in A6 size. So let's pick one of these. Let's just find one that makes, makes my heart happy. Well, they all make my heart happy. That one's super pretty. Is that the one I want? Mm -hmm. That one's super pretty. So I could literally pull it out. Put it on the card. Here's my card base from Sizzix. Tape it down and be done. I could go to my computer. I could print out a sentiment, cut it out, and tape it to the center. The cards come with envelopes. So Ellison does 10 cards and 10 envelopes for $4.99. And when we have them on sale, so I pick the colors that work best with the product I'm using, they're on sale for $3.99. So if you've got if you've got 56 of these, you would need six packs of cards and envelopes. And they're $3.99, so they're $4 each. Four times six is 24. The pad is on sale for, I think, $9.99. So now you're at $34, and that's going to give you, I mean, 56 cards. And if you choose the one that has 64 sheets, then even more. It's an amazing value. So we could, we could just, we could just do that. Of course, it would be helpful if I had my own, oh, my card, right? We could just do that and tape it down and call it done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim just a little bit off of the sides because I want a slight mat to show. So I'm just gonna take my scissors. And yes, I might cut off a little bit of the design. I'm perfectly fine with that. You may use a trimmer. I'm freehanding it. And now when I put it down, it's just perfect. It was meant for it. It, it doesn't need to be any more than this if you don't want it to be any more than this. Like I said, you could go to your computer, you could print out some sentiments, some happy birthdays or, or thinking of you or congratulations or happy anniversary, put it on the inside. Well, let's just take this down. Let's just say, this is it. This is as far as you wanna go. You wanna make something handmade. You're on a budget. 50 cents a card plus the envelope. I mean, that sounds pretty good to you, right? I'm just taking some Stacy tape and putting it down. Stacy tape is a double-sided adhesive. Now you'll notice that I went a little bit long here. I could either cut that off, tear it off because Stacy tape is, you can rip it. You don't have to cut it. I could have left it long and 
folded it back on itself. So Stacy tape is a very affordable way to use adhesive. Let me take off my liners. So this one I left long. Oops, went too long. All I have to do is fold it right back onto itself because it's double sided. You would do a better job of taping down than I am. And I am going to make sure that I put this the right way. I'm going to kind of center it up to the best of my abilities while I'm sitting down. And bam. Done. It can be that easy. Put it in its envelope, address it, send it. Write your sentiment inside, happy birthday, whatever you need to write, and send it. And you've made something that is handmade. But what if we want, and I have to tell you, now I don't know if, these companies did not talk to each other. These are the Sizzix card bases, and this is the paper tree. I don't know how they got that color to be so perfect with each other. Honestly, you would think that whoever did the toppers made the card bases to go with because that is just, it's perfect. It's perfect. So let's do another one. And let's say we want to go a little bit further. Let's say we want to go a little bit further. Hmm, that one's pretty. Hmm. I like that one. That one's pretty. That one's is that the one I just did? Yes. <laughs> I'm so predictable. <laughs> At least I know what I like, right? That one's pretty. I'm leaving the birds for Claire. All right. How about we play with those two? Let's pick one of them. Which one do we like better? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do this one. So, and this one I think I might back on green. So again, if I put it right on there, you're not going to see any of the card base at all. If I trim it down, I can do, I can get a little bit of the card base. I can trim down to what makes my heart happy. And I cut that one over there really wonky. I mean, I went really wonky and I'm not even gonna fix it. I'm not even gonna fix it, nah. I could put it on, call it done, but I wanna take it a little bit further. And the way I'm gonna do that is with the tools from Sizzix. This is the Sizzix, uh, it's their surface, the Sizzix Surfaces Craft Tool Set. Now we did a global launch on these for them not too long ago where there are three new sets and this one is for surfaces. So it's for your papers and your, your texture rolls, things of that nature. This one comes with a handle. They all come with a handle. And then you've got three interchangeable elements that work with paper. You've got an X-Acto blade. You've got this blade that goes zoop. It just kind of goes zoop with the paper and then you've got a distressing blade and it's the distressing blade that I'm going to play with today. So I'm going to pop that little guy right out of there and I'm going to snap him right into place. So you put him in and you turn. There you go. Easy peasy, right? Now I'm wondering. Oh, look at that. You can have two tools at the same time. Holy smokes, artichokes. Who knew? Well, they did. <laughs> or I can pop that tool out. Oh, I don't want to take off the lid. I'm going to pop that tool out. Can I get it out? There we go, that way. And this little guy can go in there just to finish it out. So you could have two tools. That way you can go back and forth or you can just have the little end on it. Nice, nice grip. 
So this is a distressing tool. And what this tool does, that's why I didn't clean up my edge, because it's not gonna matter. What this little tool does is it's got these little blades in all these little sections. And these little blades are gonna take this paper and instead of keeping it a nice, pristine, straight edge cut, it's going to rough it up. We wanna distress this, we wanna age it, we wanna rough it up a little bit. Now, if this works, the distressing tool works really, really, really well with cardstock. I mean, it just really, really well. Because the cardstock is able to hold its shape. This is a little bit thinner. See, look at that. It's like weebly wobbly, right? And so if I go in there with my distressing tool, I'm gonna have a little bit more time holding the shape on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a piece of cardstock. In fact, I'll trim it down just a little bit because I don't need such a big piece. And I'm gonna put, and it can be, it could be any cardstock you have. What color did you buy or came in some kit that you will never use? Use that. I'm gonna line up the edge of my, my topper to the edge of my cardstock, maybe going over just a little bit, maybe extending, let me get, maybe I'll do it with black so it's easier for you to see. Let's just cut off a piece of black. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm not trying to make anything with it. So now I line up my edge of my topper to the edge of my black, maybe just over just a wee bit. And that gives me the support and the stability that that paper needs because it is not cardstock. It's a little wibbly wobbly. It's a little, it's a little thin. And then I can come in and you can use any of the blades. And I can start distressing it. And that's what I'm doing is I'm aging it. I'm distressing it. I'm taking that nice, crisp, sharp edge off and adding a little bit more of a tattered, worn, vintage, shabby. Okay, now I can take this one and move that one that way. And I can just keep going and just do all four sides. So with a thinner piece of paper, it's a little easier to use the distressing tool if you've got a piece of cardstock with it. If you're just distressing cardstock, no problem. Let's move this one down just a little bit so it's a little over. Cute. And then this side. Cute, I just have one edge left to go. And then if I wanna add more distressing, I come back and I do more, but you're literally just chopping at it. And you're not trying to be exact. You're just trying to give it an opportunity to hit that blade and let that blade kinda just kind of add a little bit of texture, which is ultimately what you're doing. You're adding texture to the design. See, I wanted it more. So if I want it more, I'm just gonna go around and do a little bit more. Okay. So now I can still use this. I'll use it again. But now I've taken
and I've worn that side, those edges down. And I've given it a little bit more, a little bit more dimension. Absolutely, you can feel the difference in the texture. Here, I've got that straight edge all the way around. Here, I've got that more designer edge where it looks like it's been taken and aged a little bit. And then I can put it down. It doesn't take much. But because that paper is a little thinner than cardstock, you are going to want to have a piece of cardstock behind it. And it can be what it can be the yuckiest color. It doesn't have to be beautiful. I wouldn't use my my most favorite black cardstock to do this. I wouldn't want to ruin, you know, waste it. We all have stuff that it's in our stash that we're like, "Ugh, what am I going to do with it?" Oh, come on, Stacy. There we go. There we go. That one went a little long, so I'm just going to fold it back into itself. And good. And now let's put this on here. It's a little softer with those edges. It definitely has a little bit more of a design element. You didn't do much but use the Sizzix tool but it has a different look than this. I actually really like this look. I think it's very pretty. This is nice, but I think this is pretty. So let's do, let's do another one. I have this one. Do I wanna do that one? Maybe I do this one. I know I'm so indecisive. But when they give you too many to choose from, <laughs> I should have just, that's what I should have done. I should have taken one of everything out and then I would have had it. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to chop it down just a little bit. I'm not going to worry that I'm wonky on my cut because I am going to distress it. I think the wonky cut adds to it. I'm gonna grab my piece of paper. Let's see if I can do this one a little faster. All right, one side done. Move to the next side. Try to go a little bit faster for you. I wouldn't be able to do this as well if I didn't have that cardstock underneath. Okay, two sides down. Is that is that distressed out enough for me? Let's move to the third side. I need it a little bit past the black. Just a little bit past the black. And the black is what's giving me the support to hold it. Good. And then my last side. Scooch that up a little bit just to get that last edge. 
Okay, I think that's good. So let's just grab a green so we can go apples to apples. So all distressed out, if you wanted a little bit more, you can absolutely go back in there. Like I want that edge a little bit more. I want this edge just a little bit more and I just go back in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Something so simple can create such a dramatic difference. And you can see that I didn't fix my wonky cut and it doesn't matter that I didn't fix my wonky cut. It's meant to look distressing. I want that a little bit more. I just want that a little bit more. Is that a little bit more? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so how do we wanna take this farther? Because right now we're apples to apples with this one. Apples to apples. What do we wanna do? Well, I was thinking that maybe we wanted to add just a little bit of glitter to it. Glitter? Yeah, let's add just a little bit of glitter to it. And how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna kind of paint it in. And to paint it in, I'm going to use these little tiny blending tips from Couture Creations. Little tiny blending tips. You can use them for alcohol ink, you can use them for glue, you can use them for just about anything. There's 50 in a box. 50 in the box. And yes, you can, um, you can certainly wipe them down with a baby wipe or whatever and clean them off if you want. But I like these little tiny guys because I'm gonna use my essentials glue. Now I'm gonna use the refill of the essentials glue or the actual, the glue to the essentials glue because it comes sold like this. This is an empty pad and this is the glue. You add a little bit of glue on the empty pad for the job that you're doing. Whatever craft you're doing, you don't just empty this entire bottle on here and then come back three months later and think it's gonna be great. No, you keep the glue in the glue bottle and you only add it to the pad when you're working on a, your project. Then when this is empty, you don't replace the pad, you just buy the refills, which is what I have here. And I wanna work with these because I'm gonna paint with it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this glue and what makes this glue special is it's a two-way glue. That means if I was to take a piece of paper, piece of paper, hello paper, If I was to take a piece of paper and throw some of the glue down and then seal it up, it would dry just like glue and these two pieces would not pull apart. But that's not the specialness. That's not the magic sauce of this glue. The magic sauce of this glue is that it eventually goes tacky. Three minutes, five minutes, and when it goes tacky, it allows you to come in with flakes and foil and glitter and all sorts of goodness, and it will hold it and not make a mess. It's wonderful. But I don't wanna take the glue straight from the bottle because it's too much, it's too big. And a paintbrush might uh, spread a little bit further than what I want it to do. So I'm gonna try and do it with just one of my little tips from Couture Creations, one of these little tiny blending tips. And I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of glue, done. I don't even know if you can see that glue. There's the tip, there's the glue. <laughs> I mean a little tiny bit. And then I'm gonna pick it up with my little blending tool and I'm just gonna add Just a little bit. In fact, what I put down is even too much glue.
and I'm just drawing some in. Okay, and then when I when I rotate it, you can see where I've got the glue. It's it's you can see the reflection going on. It's not a lot. I don't need a lot. I'm just trying to add a little accent to this. Just a little accent. And I used so little, I'm almost ashamed to just wipe it up, but I need to make sure my hand doesn't get in it. Zoop. And if I don't want glue on this and I want to use it again, I can just wipe it right off because that glue is water soluble. Now I need to let this sit for just a minute. So I think I might do, I might do this one as well. Well, I shouldn't have to wipe that glue up then, huh? Little bit of glue. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit where I kind of see some dark, kind of in the shadows of my flower. I think that's it. Okay, you can kind of see where I've got that glue. Now, wipe up, put the lid on my bottle. By now, this one's tacky. Now you, you want it to go tacky. It's the time in your life where tacky is good. Embrace your inner tacky <laughs> because you need that. You can waft it, you can walk away for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes and come back and the glue will still be ready to go. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter and honestly, I don't know if we have any of this glitter left. This is the 10 pack we had from Stampendous that we were doing for $6.99. I really don't know if we have any left. If we do, I will put it back on, on sale and if we don't, then, well, I think most of you already own it. I'm gonna just cut myself a little, a little workspace. And I'm gonna take my glitter, and it can be anybody's glitter. And I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it all over. And where that glue is, it's going to stick. But where there isn't any glue, it's not. Put all that back in my green. And when the glue is set and the glitter is set, no, it doesn't rub off, it doesn't flake off. It really doesn't. And now I've added another element. But this wasn't hard. This was just adding a little bit of glitter. Which means I can come in. Use slightly thicker. Okay, feels pretty dry. And it's a no mess glitter. The glue is what makes it a no mess glitter. And I just added a little bit of sparkle and shine to it. Easy peasy.
and now my card has got just a little bit of bling going on not too much it's a it's a kiss of glitter it's a hint of glitter it's a whisper of glitter it's a little little shine but not 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 dripping in it so I went from I went from here to here to here and I still have this one to do so this one I'm gonna let it sit for another minute or two I'm gonna bring over another card base I think I am gonna bring over that bring over this one and I think it goes this way no this one goes this way so I think I'm going to trim some off maybe the top and the bottom I'll start there I might have to do a little bit more we'll see I'll start there Okay, now I could mat it just like that and call it done once I put my glitter on it. But I think I'm going to use my thin Stacy tape. And I'm going to put a piece down here. And cut off the edges this time I do want to cut off I don't want them to go back onto each other and cut off the edges now for Stacy tape or any adhesive tape you want to have uh, like a Teflon coated scissor a non-stick scissor Ooh, I cut into the card base <laughs> okay and then maybe I'll do one at the top So how many of you already have some sort of a of a double stick tape, a double sided tape? How many sizes do you have? And cut off my extra. And cut off my extra. Zoop, zoop. Stacy tape is very sticky. It's not overly forgiving. It'll hold beads, it'll hold metal, it'll hold fabric, it'll hold plastic, it'll hold glitter. Okay, so now I'm gonna expose my sticky. Pretty. Is that the color I want? I want. Well, let's go for it. And just like that, without glue, without fuss, without muss, I made a glitter border. Just as easy as that. Now let's do the other side. So depending on the different widths of tape you have, don't whip out the glue. Just get out your tape if you want a straight edge border. You're never going to be able to get such a straight edge with glue. That, that requires definite skill. But when you've got tape, And any glitter will work. Doesn't have to be any specific size. It can be ultra, it can be micro, it can be regular. Mm 
Okay. Not sure I like that color with this, but that's okay. We're gonna go for it anyway. So now, now I've got a little bit of the card base showing. I've got my glitter edges and I put some of my glue here and it's been a while, right? And I'm just gonna take my finger and rub it all the way around and anywhere they're sticky, my glitter is gonna stick. And anywhere it isn't sticky, it isn't gonna stick. I don't think that's enough to save. All right. You can see where my glue was. <laughs> Now I've added a little bit of glitter to my flowers and I've got a little bit of glitter there. I could cut it down if I want to see more of my, of my mat. That way, that way. And now I'm done. I could go in and add a little green glitter if I wanted. Could go in and add a little bit of transparent glitter on my butterfly if I want. Just a little bit, little bit of glue. That's almost, that's too much. Could just put a little bit of glue. Right into my butterfly. Tiny little bit. Wipe it up. That way I don't get my hand in it. And give that a super quick little waft. I mean, almost nothing. Like I drizzled almost nothing. Take my finger, kind of move it around a little bit. And anywhere that glue is, that glitter's gonna stay. And it's soft and it's subtle. It's not in your face. It's not glitter. It's glitter. Almost look like foil. The, I don't know what color that is, but the coppery rose goldy, it almost looks like a foil. And then I can put it down. I could have distressed the edges. Do we want to distress the edges? No, we won't, but I could have. <laughs> could have. And I didn't trim the sides at all because they fit that A6 card perfectly. Oh, now I do like it. <laughs> now I am good with it. Isn't that pretty? Envelope on its way. We haven't done anything that you can't do. From here to here 
to here to there. All easy peasy. All right, moving on. And let's change up the pad we're gonna use. This was the one I've been using is Floral Daydream. I'm gonna use Floral Elegance now. Hoo -hoo. And I think I will, I think I'll pull out a few. So there's that one and that one and that one. I think I'm just gonna pull them out now. And then figure out which one I'm gonna go with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Was it that one? No, I got that one. Oh, it is that one. Eight. Okay, so this one comes with 64 um, pages. There's eight uh, of each, eight designs and eight of each. It was just easier for me to pull one of each. <laughs> then I can figure it out. All right, so what do we want to do with this? Well, you have the same opportunities with the glitter, but what if we wanted to take it a little bit further? What if we wanted to come in? Man, that's pretty. What if we wanted to come in and we wanted to use some foils? I'm going to do this one. And what if I wanted to go ahead, I'm gonna trim it on down just a little bit. I think I am going to distress it just a little bit. I backed it with that cardstock because remember, this paper is a little thinner than we're used to. It's not a cardstock weight. So I don't want it to do it this way. It's very hard because it just wants to fold in on itself. I need that stability behind it. And not all paper is going to be that way. Certainly not cardstock. Cardstock, you're going to be able to do easy peasy. And this is the Sizzix tool. It's new. It's part of the surfaces set where the tools that are in that kit all have to do with cutting and distressing. Okay, I'm going to do that one down there just a little bit more. And then that one a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, one side left. There's no exact science to this by any stretch of the imagination. And you certainly, if you don't want to be per, you know, if there's ever a time you don't want to be perfect, this is the time. You're trying to make it look a little rugged and rough and vintaged and aged.
Okay, that's good. So I've got that one and maybe I add just a little bit of glitter to some of the green just to bring that green up a little bit more. green in here. Even when there isn't any green, I'm adding a little bit of blue just to give the illusion of a little more green because I think I'm going to put it on a green card base. So I've got a little going on there. And then this time, let's take that green card base, wipe up my little blob of blue. And, oh. Oh, Stacy, that looks good too. Okay, maybe I go on gray. Hmm. But I added the green. Huh, decisions, decisions. Hmm, I'm going to leave it be. Okay. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my a little bit of my Stacy tape. I don't think I have an eighth of an inch over here. Don't think I do. No, but I, I really want an eighth of an inch. Uh, hold, please. I'm going to go find an eighth of an inch tape. That's me moving all my stuff. an eighth of an inch in here? Nope. Quarter. Nope. Well, I did all of that and I still don't even have an eighth of an inch in here. What do you know? Oh, wait, wait. Hello, eighth of an inch tape. <laughs> Eighth of an inch. Gosh, I don't use eighth of an inch very often, that's for sure. So let's go here. And cut it off. And let's grab another piece of eighth of an inch. And here. And cut it off. So there's like 85 feet of tape on my rolls goes a really long way. And I want to say the eighth of an inch starts at $3.99 a roll. And instead of using glitter, this time I'm going to use Sizzix Flakes. And I think I'm going to use maybe the silver. So Sizzix Flakes. These are a metal flake. You don't want to sneeze, you don't want to laugh, you don't want a ceiling fan on you because that was a light blow. Did you see that? I'm just barely blowing and they will go flying. They also like to aerate. And what I mean by aerate is they seem to get 
more and more. They seem to grow <laughs> when you use them because they're compact in there. And as air enters, they fluff up. So you may want to get like a, I don't know, a Tupperware or a different type of storage container and just dump them all in there because it's easier to keep. However, Ellison did give you, Sizzix did give you that nice, nice little top there that makes things easier. Now I have got enough, I think, <laughs> I think I, I, I could probably pick up enough to use. I'm gonna go ahead and expose my sticky. So I've got my Stacy tape. I'm gonna just peel that off. Can you see that? And I'm gonna throw some of these flakes right down on top of it. I can take them straight from the lid because I don't need very much. I'm doing a super small little piece. More than enough. And then I grab my little foam brush. Now we used to use a stemple brush, but Creative Expressions came out with these, these sponge applicators that seem to work like magic with a gilding flake or a foil. And it's, it's, not, it's not rough, it's not um, um, coarse at all. It's a soft little sponge. And I'm gonna kind of dab those in there and then just kind of move them around. If you need a little more, see I need a little bit more on that edge. Need a little bit more. Foil a little bit more. And now I don't have a glittered edge, I have a foiled edge. Kinda tap it all over. It's not very much. Kinda tap it on down and then just kinda move it. And if you need more, Grab more. And anywhere it's sticky, it will adhere to. Okay. And just like that, I've got a, just a very soft, simple element. to put that on too, to add a little something, something, but I've got glue in there. I don't know what to do now that I've got all that glue in there. I don't want to use the foil. Maybe I just keep it super Super light. Did you see how little glitter I added? And I'm just gonna move it around with my finger. And anywhere there's glue, it's going to adhere to. almost take that eighth of an inch and put it down the sides but I won't let me tape it on down and we'll move on so now we've used foil you would do a better job of taping down than I am I'm just trying to get it down So now we've got a flake foil element, we've got a glitter element, we've got a distress element. And I like it on the gray, pretty on the gray. 
Okay, but what about this one? This one was certainly... This one's beautiful. Ooh, I don't know which one I like more. Which one do you like more? I've got two different bird cages. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I'm gonna do this one. Hopefully you all agreed with me. So let's bring over, do I wanna do it on the gray again? Mm, that's mighty pretty. I think I'm gonna trim it down. Let's see what kind of mat I was able to make with that, those two cuts. I need a little bit more off my side to even it up. So I'm gonna take a little bit off of this side. That is certainly beautiful, just like that. Oh my gosh. But you know me, let's take it a little bit further. Let's take that glue again. And let's take our little our little brush. And this time I'm gonna do the bird cage. So I'm gonna add some glue to the bird cage. Now I might not hit every place with the exact same amount of glue. Some lines might be a little wider, some might be a little thinner. To see where I've been, I need to get the reflection so I know where I've been and what I'm doing. I'm just going to do the bird cage. We'll come around and do a little bit in the front. And then down the sides. And I'm just painting that glue on with this super fine little tip. Super fine little tip. And I'm not trying to be exact because I want it to kind of look vintagey aged. So I think I've got I think I've got my bird cage all done in glue. Can you see the reflection of the glue? Now while that dries, I'm just going to give that a second to dry. I'm going to take a slightly wider tape. and show you the three glitter flakes from Sizzix. So it all depends upon the width of the tape that you have. Do I wanna do, I, I could, I could. Maybe I'll just, well. Okay, so one, Two, 
two, three. Because that eighth inch was so narrow, I'm just gonna show you on a slightly bigger piece so you see. So Stacy tape goes from eighth of an inch all the way up to six inches. <laughs> and you use it for just about everything. Don't let it find its way to the, um, to the toolbox because you'll never find it again. It tends to be taken by spouses to go fix something or tape something together. And then the crafter never gets her or his tape back. All right, so let's go with the silver and I'm just gonna expose my first one. Tape down. Go in there. I've got, oh, see, bigger pieces because I've got a bigger piece of tape that I'm trying to, this stuff goes a long way. It really does last you a super long time. I probably have too much. I'm gonna put a little bit back. <laughs> no, I can't laugh either because it'll go everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Close it up quick. <laughs> and my little spongy. I'm going to grab all of that that kind of fell everywhere. And then just kind of move it around. Well, wouldn't you know it, I'm gonna need a little bit more. But look at how pretty is that. I don't know why I'm so sparing with this. It's, there's so much in here. These are the first original jars that I used like three years ago. I still haven't gone through them. All right, let's try that. Let's see if that's enough. So for those of you who have never seen flakes before, they are easy to use. And just like that. Now let's do the rose gold. It's actually copper. Are they calling it? I always forget if they call this copper or if they call it rose gold. It's copper. No, they call it rose gold. It's not. It's copper. If that isn't a penny, I don't know what is. Ooh, look at that big piece. All right, let's try that. Tap it down. A little bit more. All right. Let's see if that's enough. Give me back my tweezers. And see, it holds to that line beautifully. It's only gonna stick where that line is. Ooh, and then the last color is gold, just so you can see all the colors. Now I would use a spongy, you get five spongies. I'd use a spongy per color and keep a sponge per color. That way you don't have cross-contamination of the flakes unless you want cross-contamination. See, I got a little bit of my silver in my rose gold. And then my gold. And by that time, my birdcage should be ready to go. see if that's enough kind of put it into its place and then 
move it around and all the little bits and pieces all the little extra flakes are going to find a home on the sticky oh, i have lots of extra i could have saved these but i won't Okay, so there are your three colors. Can you blend them? Absolutely. You can make your own mixes. Let's go back to my, my bird cage. It's been sitting there for a while. It should be tacky enough to go. Let's bring out my silver. just going to put some here and there because these lines are very fine. All right, let's see if that's enough. So I've got some on here. And where I drew those those lines in with my glue, my flakes are now going to adhere to giving me a true gilded cage. So I don't want it to be perfect. I'm just going for the fact that when you move it, you see it and it's not glitter, it's metal. And it's in those super fine lines. There might still be a little tacky there. I might be able to add a little bit more. But even towards the bottom, even around the top, it's just a little bit going on. Not too much. You want it to look like a gilded cage. A distressed, beautiful gilded cage. Might be able to put a little bit more. Oh, this piece might work. Yeah, there, that one's a little sticky. Okay, good. Then I can bring over my base. And now I've got a gilded cage look. It, it really is all about the different things that you can do with these toppers. That is so easy and so simple. If I want my background, let's say I want to keep this gray, but let's take, is that going to be white enough? I think that's going to be white enough. So I'm going to add my tape. Snip, snip, it doesn't want to come off me. <laughs> and I could take my silver. back in let's add a little more oh, that looks good
wet wipe. Just kind of grab my extra, wipe it on down. Now I've got an edge. that I can now put that on. It's all up to you. The decisions are yours to make. They've given you a foundation with the toppers. What more you do to them is entirely up to you. I love the gilded cage look. But we're not done. We haven't gotten to those Studio Light inks yet. Yay. So we started way back, way back here. And then we went to here where we distressed. And then we went to here where we distressed and we added some glitter. And then we went here where we did the glitter borders and some glitter. And then we went here where we added a little bit of glitter and some fine line of flakes. And then we went here where we gilded our cage and put a border down the side. Oh my gosh, there's so much to be done with these. It's all about taking what you already own. Grab all the, the inks and the pastes and the glitters and grab them and pull them out. Okay, next thing. Let's move on to the next thing. Ooh, I still have these to play with. So what one do I want to use? That one's very nice. I'm partial to the bird cages, but let's see if I can get away from the bird cages. But I am very partial to them, that is for sure. And how about we go on a, a dark blue base instead of the gray? Ooh, the dark blue looks really good too. So I have dark blue. And I have gray, and I like the dark blue with this too because there's a little bit of blue going on in here. What are we gonna do? Or maybe it's, what are we gonna do? How about we grab some of the stencil? So I'm gonna cut this down. I'm gonna cut this down. And I cut it down pretty good. What used to cover the entire card front now doesn't. And maybe I'll distress it. We'll see. And what if I grabbed I'll cut this one down too, as long as we're here. And maybe this one on the green. Oh, so pretty. All right, let's grab the stencils. So I have stencils here from Creative Expressions, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. They're relatively new. They are called mini stencils and they're super inexpensive. So We'll have a whole, I want it all bundled for you on these, but they're really inexpensive. Um, Let's see, it's 
550 and 550 is 11 12 13 so a little over $13 for all of them and then we have them on a YouTube yummy sale so I mean an amazing value for five mini stencils and you're saying but what can I do with mini stencils oh yeah what can't you do with mini stencils so I'm gonna pull it out and this is a great way to have lots of different patterns I wasn't supposed to open that one Stacy put that one back <laughs> that's a great way to have oodles of different patterns without spending a lot of money because the majority of what we're going to be doing is going to be covered so do I want to buy a big stencil sometimes you need a big stencil to do the whole thing because you're going to use that as your front but when you're doing little pieces little bits you can get away with using mini stencils and if you're just starting your collection it allows you to have lots of different designs for a lot less money. If I was going to have the, the five stencils in standard sizes, the minimum I would be looking at is $25. Well, actually the stencil prices have gone up. They've gone up to like six bucks each. So six times five, $30. If I wanted this in a full size stencil, all five of them. And, and maybe you do because you do a lot of stenciling, but maybe you'd be just as happy having a bunch of little ones that you can work with that allow you to get the same kind of look and feel. I'm gonna put some washi tape on the top of it just so I can kind of move it around. And I'm gonna stencil the front of my card base. Let me see if I can move that up maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna stencil the front of my card base. Let's grab a green so it's like monotone. And I don't know, that looks like a nice dark green to me. And let's grab my green blending brush. So I've got my stencil. And I'm just gonna go. And I know I don't have to go too far in because my topper is gonna cover most of it. And then I pick it up and I move it and I kind of line it up. And I go and I pick it up and I line it up. And I move it and I go and I just do that all the way around it's just gone a little further if you don't line it up exact no big deal it makes no difference you're gonna cover up the majority of it If I go into the center by accident, if I get some in here, oh no, nobody's going to know you're going to cover it up. So it lines itself up. You just find the pattern match. Just find the pattern match and stencil. So if stenciling is intriguing to you, but not your thing, or you kind of like it, but don't want to invest too much in it, this is a great way to stencil without spending too much money because they're just, they're small. And you can see they absolutely get the job done.
Okay, good. Now I can put that on there and my background isn't just a straight green. And I am going to distress this up a little bit. Hello, Sizzix Tool. If I were Stacy, oh, here it is. Oh, I could even mat it on the black. What if I didn't distress it up? What if I matted? Okay, change of plan. <laughs> what if I matted it on the black? Wow, that's striking. Okay, change of plan. You just never know what you're going to get. My videos are unscripted, unedited, unvoiceovered, unanything. What you see is what you get, and we make it while we make it. Sometimes everything just works like a dream, and sometimes it doesn't. What if I put just a really thin black mat around it? Black always makes it pop, and with that black the little butterfly right there, that cut is still wonky but you know what so be it wonky cutters unite am I gonna be able to live with it no make a mat I said just a thin one. Trim it out. For those of you who are new, I don't use a trimmer. I'm not good with a trimmer. I'm not an expert freehander either, but I seem to feel more confident in my abilities with <laughs> scissors than I do with a trimmer. I think I like it. I do. And just to, I could have even, no, I'm not, but I could have, but, oh, decisions, decisions. Do I add a little glitter to it? Do I add a little foil to it? Or do I just let it be? Just adding a little bit of texture to the background so that the card base isn't just so plain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's do this one. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab out of the grays. The yellows and the grays. Let's grab a dark, 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 because I'm going on top of dark, dark, dark. And what stencil do we want to use? Do we like this little flourishy one? Or do we like kind of the... I'm gonna say maybe the little flourishy one. Let's see what we get with that. And I'm gonna put a little piece of washi tape over the top of it. Just so I can kind of move it around Put my green blending brush away. A little bit of washi tape. They don't give you a lot of room. And then let's just go in there and just add some. Where's my black blending brush? Because I'm using a dark gray. Let's see if it's going to be dark enough. 
Oh, that's really dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, almost too much. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, yeah, is that juicy? And I'm just kind of going around the outside. Stencils go two ways. If I want to turn it over to use a different angle, I can. I want to probably wipe that down first so it doesn't get on my card base. But stencils have two sides. So if I want to flip it over so that my vine is going in a different direction, let's flip it on over. And again, this is just a really amazing way to be able to utilize small stencils that are so affordable. So my gosh, the stencils are maybe $11 for all five of them. And you can mix and match. And I'm just putting it down and going. Trying not to think about it too much. Think long, think wrong. Just maybe go for it. How pretty that is. And then we could, <laughs> if you give a mouse a cookie, <laughs> we could, because <laughs> why not? We could take the quarter inch will be too much, eighth of an inch better. Right at the very top. I'm just using the eighth of an inch. Cut it off. Let's get that <coughs> rose gold. <laughs> rose gold copper, yeah. <laughs> take off my and expose my sticky it's not going to need very much because that's a super little piece of tape so I didn't quite get enough on but I'm going to wait I'm going to I'll, I'll put my next piece down and then I'll do what I missed. Eighth of an inch. Could have done it with glitter. 
The Ellison Flakes are also very inexpensive. They're $3.99 a container. And then we put them on sale on the I Want It All. So it's like everything here hopefully finds a, a, a place in your, in your crafty budget. And if you have to pick and choose, I would pick the toppers because the flakes are readily available. The glue is readily available. The glitter is readily available. The toppers are not. I bought all that was left. need to get a piece in there right there right there stick 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 there we go so now I've got two of the four sides done I love the stencils. I think the stencils are an amazing way to add another layer of uh, dimension, another layer of visual impact to your projects without spending an arm and a leg. And like I said, sometimes you need full size stencils by all means. Yes, sometimes a full size size stencil makes up the entire front of your card. I know I do layering stencils and you get three stencils and it really does make up the front of your card. But when you're using it as a background, hmm, if you're trying to think budget-minded, maybe the mini stencils are the way to go. Does it take a little bit more work? Yes, but not much. I would rather work a little harder and have five different designs to choose from. <laughs> Okay, done. You know what I should have done? I should have left it big and then I could have used the wider tape and then cut it down to the size I wanted after I foiled it. Mm, big enough? No. And I just go right on over, right on over the last. I just go right on over. I don't try to, I don't try to cut right up to where I foiled or flaked. I just go right on over the previous one and flake it again. My last side. Can you see how this is growing? <laughs> and my little sponge just does all the work for me. So now I've got all my sides done. Put it against that black and wow, man, Papa Roo. Hello, pretty. Put it down. So 
I think the flakes are on sale for about $11. And the card bases are on sale for, for three, uh, $4. And the toppers are on sale for $10. I don't know, you can get a lot done with not a lot. And then the, the, the studio light is on sale for like $7, the inks, because the dented can. that really adds that element of that stencil to the background of it. And when you're using the card bases, they just are so pretty when you just pop a little bit of something on it. Let's see, what have I got? I've got the hearts. Do I wanna do the hearts or do I wanna do the... Let's see, what color is this? This is a pink. So let's see what we have here. That's kind of, oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. That's definitely going to be tone on tone, maybe even too much tone on tone. Hmm, what topper do we want to use with it? I guess that would be the deciding factor. What do I still have over here? Hmm. Hmm, I have that one. Well, we can try with the lighter, and if not, I think I might come back with something a little darker, or maybe I blend the two. Whew. We'll see. I think I'm gonna use that grid. And my washi tape. I don't know about this one. We're just going to have to see how it goes. And my pink. And I'm going to start with my lightest pink. The one that's almost tone on tone. Yeah, it's really tone on tone. That's almost impossible to see. Almost impossible. I mean, that's really difficult to see. How about we go a little darker? A little better. Yeah, I can see that better. I'm just going to go all the way around. I didn't even move my stencil, I'm moving my card base.
I missed one little spot down there. See one little spot? Okay. I have that one. Hmm. Do I want to go back to my first pack? Trim it down. Because I want to be able to see some of that background. Move my inks out of my way. Pull this up. one. Let's see what color this is. Oh, pretty. Rough it up. Give it some texture. See, it likes to bend. Distress it up. Don't think too much about it. Just let it be. Maybe take a little bit of my red. And just go around my edges just a little bit. And come back with that pink. Just so it's not so stark white. Put it on a little piece of black. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and we're done. Oh my gosh. It's amazing what you can do with just a simple piece of, of printed paper. And how you really can take it to a whole next level.
All of this is achievable by every single person out there. I didn't do and I, I didn't use really anything but some tape, some liquid glue, some glitter you probably already have. I mean, the distressing tool is wonderful. Love the distressing tool. Love the distressing tool. <laughs> I love that I can hold it. That is probably the biggest thing for me is that I can hold it. They do make, others do make smaller distressing tools that you hold like this. For me, that's a little bit more of a challenge. This gives me a nice firm grip. I like that. You do what works best for you. I think as I'm aging, it's harder for me to hold smaller things like that. I loved aging around the edges and then adding a little bit of ink. I like the black matte that's going to go on it. I didn't even add any glitter or any foils, but I could. <laughs> I could. <laughs> That's dangerous. I could. There's still time. <laughs> okay, let's put my lids back on all my inks. I would have loved to have kept those inks. Oh, they actually have names on them. Who knew? Uh, red beet juice. I'm going to say that this is red beet juice and that this is pink cheeks and that this is red lips. How nice that they put names on them. Ooh, my stencil that just kind of looks like a hot mess and it's very subtle. But then when you add it, It just adds that one more design element. That one thing, one more thing that, that helps your eye draw into the entire card. What do we think? We did this one with a stencil. We did this one with a stencil and the flakes. We did this one with just the stencil. I feel like this needs a little something compared to these. <laughs> Is that wrong? But I do, I feel it leads a little, a little, a little something compared to those. Um, Hello, glue. Hello, little. Just a little something. It feels lonely. Maybe just a little bit of glitter. Just so it doesn't feel quite so lonely. Give it a second to, of course I mounted it upside down, but of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> Give it a second to go tacky. You think I can pull it off? Cause I know I didn't put too much 
tape down. You think I can do it? Can she do it? Yes, she can. And this time, let's get it down correct. Waft, 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 waft. Should I go green or should I do something else? How about we brighten it up? I might have used too much glue, but no guts, no glory. Worst case scenario, I wasted 50 cents because that's what it cost to make this card so far. <laughs> going super light with the glitter. I mean, like there's almost none there. I'm kind of move it around with my finger and where it's sticky, it'll stick. And where it's not, it won't. Okay, I brightened it up a little bit with some glitter. It needed a little something. Now the rose needs something. No, I yeah, the rose does need something. Now the rose needs something. Or maybe I go back over. <sighs> maybe I take this and I go back over that gold and just do a little bit. So I have gold and green. Just a little bit of here and there. So I have a little bit of gold and a little bit of green. I don't know. Well, I know that's not tacky enough, but I'm just gonna go for it. And I want that dark green. Waft, 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 waft. So I went over the gold with more glue to see if I could get some green to stick to. And a little goes a long way. Now I might have just ruined it. It's possible. Oh, that was a little too much. Yeah, a little too much. All right, well, I gave it a college try. Probably should have left it alone. But somebody will love it. Doesn't, don't you think that this needs some, some, some color somehow, somewhere? <gasps> don't spill that, Stacy. I know, it, I agree, it needs some color somehow, somewhere. See, I thought I was about done and then I started to play. I should have called myself done. Yeah, I'm gonna call myself done. Okay, I feel better. Now the rose has a little something going on. Okay, I feel better. You may have all turned me off by now, but that's okay. I feel better. <laughs> so, holy smokes. Oh, yeah, see, I like that now. Now I'm good with that because that the rose has got a little something, something, too. Okay, so we started way back 
yonder where we did just the topper on a card base and the card bases are 10 and you get 10 envelopes then we did the the edges and distressing the edges on a card base pretty simple then we did the edges and a little bit of glitter on a card base pretty simple then we did the glitter border and a little bit of glitter on our on our topper pretty simple then we did <laughs> wow i did a lot <laughs> i'm proud of myself <laughs> i don't think i've ever made this many cards in one time like ever <laughs> in my entire life <laughs> wow okay then we did the flakes from Sizzix on the border and a little bit of glitter. Then we did the gilding on the, I love that. See, that to me looks fabulous. Took the glue and just traced down the cages and put some of the Sizzix flakes on there and then added the border. Yep, did that. Then we started this one. <laughs> and did the background with the mini stencil and then I had to just keep going with it and keep going with it because I couldn't stop and then we did the black one with the mini stencil and we put the eighth of an inch around and we used the copper rose gold <laughs> flakes and that came out absolutely beautiful and then we finished here <laughs> Ta <-da! laughs> wait <laughs> Let's all just take a moment, shall we? Let's just all take a moment. <laughs> Never in my life, ever. <laughs> Not even like crafting have I ever done. This many. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I can give these away. <laughs> you, somebody, the, the 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 two people who win winner winner chicken dinner twenty five dollars or the for for this post or for this this YouTube. I'm gonna split these up and I'm gonna send these to you. <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> That's crazy. I've never done so many ever. All right, you guys, so we had a lot of fun. I told you this was an easy class today. I told you it was just simple and fun and, and is accessible to everybody. And it all has to do with the products that we used. We had the Sizzix Flakes. Again, they're $3.99 and I, I'm gonna hold to that price if you just buy one. But if you do the I want it all, then we have it on sale. I mean, really, even four bucks each is $12 and then take 20% off of $12. That's $2.40. So that's a heck of a price and you see how long they last. And here, here are the colors. I want to remind you that the, the ink pads from Studio Light are potentially going to come to you damaged in the tin. There's nothing I can do about it. I, I can return them or I can offer them to you at a reduced price. You just have to know there's no refunds, no returns. You don't pass, go and collect $200. You get what you get. The inks inside are fabulous. And honestly, if they're sitting on your desk, I don't know that you're even gonna notice that they're dented on. I, I, I really don't even know that you're gonna notice. But I leave it to you to make that decision. I have got the stencils. There'll be an I want it all on the five stencils. These are new, inexpensive, if you collect the mini stencils, you know that these are a value. They're amazing. I have got the, uh, I've got the sponges to go with the, with the flakes. I've got the little mini blending tools from Couture Creations. I've got the Sizzix tool for you all on sale. I've got if we have any of these left, this is all the glitter I was using today. If I have any of these left, I'll put them on sale for you. And we will put on sale the glue pad and just the reinker if you just want the reinker. I think that's everything. Oh no, hello Stacy. I totally forgot. So we've been using two of the four 
two of the four topper pads that I have for you. And again, I bought all they had left. So I have the biggest quantities in the Floral Elegance and the Floral uh, Daydream. Thank you. So we use those all today. I also have Daffodil Dance. You'll see samples with this. I've got, boy, I, I can't read it for the life of me, but that's okay. It's beautiful. I've got samples with this. And then a few others by Brie Marin where it's um, cute little barn animals and things like that. So I've got all of those. There is no I want it all for them because they are all at different, different quantities that I have. I don't have an, uh, the same quantity of any one thing, that's for sure. So there are the four of the topper pads. And again, they're $10 on sale and you get between 56 and 64. In fact, these three you get 64. This is the only one you get 56 toppers of. But you just saw how easily I made like 10 cards. <laughs> All right, are we ready for samples? Oh, okay. So I showed you these. Boy, have I made a mess. I have showed you these earlier. And these were done as a set of four. And they die cut out the topper. Die cut out the topper. That is just beautiful. And die cut the topper with our must have dies. What what nesting dies do you have? Then let's get into here's the be unique. Ooh, that's good. And you've got the you've got the stencil. You've got a little glitter going on. Here we have chopped one up. I think she might have used two. This is beautiful. That's beautiful to get a slim line out of it. Here we've got the bird. Claire is in love with these birds. That's why I didn't use them, so Claire could have them. You're welcome, Claire. <laughs> Here we've done a complete foil background and die cut it out and then die cut our center. Another one of the bees. Oh, this one's beautiful too with a complete. So here they've mixed the copper, the gold, and the silver to make the background. Look at how beautiful is that. All done with Stacy tape. It's just, just Stacy tape. Yay. Here you've got the flakes as your border all the way around. Fussy cut the bird, be real, not perfect. <laughs> oh, this one's lovely. Die cut with the stencils and then kind of matted or um, kind of inked in the soft gray. That's lovely. Oh, and this one's good too. Look at this one. That's beautiful. Oh, and then we have a panel card. Oh, so pretty. And here they die cut the heart and then use the heart stencil for the background. And here we have some paste going on. Fussy cut out the the bird cage, added a little bit of glitter going on, use the stencil with the paste. These are just beautiful. And then of course, all the ones that I did. So, okay, you guys, it's me, Stacy, scrapbooking made simple, scrapbooking made simple.com. I hope you stayed with me and if not, I get it. Maybe this was just too simple for you. 
but sometimes you need something to just let yourself decompress and enjoy the moment where you are you are successful i was successful <laughs> one two three four <laughs> five six seven eight i was successful nine times today where i have something to give to somebody well i'm going to give them to you guys <laughs> whoever wins we're gonna I'll, I, I have one more i'll make one more and we'll do we'll send five of them to each of you and then you can give them to somebody so <laughs> i mean when you can sit down and you don't have to think and you don't have to struggle sometimes you need those moments in your life where it's not so much about taking everything and 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 trying to technique it up but it's about simply enjoying yourself simply finishing something that at the end of an hour or two you have so much to show for it 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 just it it, it calms you down it brings the blood pressure down it clears the mind and it brings you joy so every now and then that's a good thing to do. So where are you gonna find all of this great product? Well, glitter you may already have, absolutely. Sizzix flakes you may already have, and if not, check your local independent retailers. I'm sure that they will have some form of glitter, and they may have the Sizzix flakes for $3.99. Studio light pads, well, those are a little difficult to come by because they discontinued them. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> And instead of returning them, I want to give you the opportunity to get them. The mini stencils, those are from Creative Expressions. I don't know how readily available they are, but they're affordable, absolutely. And the, the toppers, the toppers we bought the very last that they had. I bought everything that they had. So, so you may have to get those here. And then the Sizzix, the Sizzix Surface Tools, the toolkit brand new just launched not long ago so maybe your retail store has got it in and if not by all means we we appreciate you shopping with us or any small independent online company all right you guys oh and i forgot and the little the little couture creations ah those are also really good but hard to come by so it is me stacy scrapbooking made simple scrapbooking made simple.com saying thanks for being with me today thank you for wishing mr sms a wonderful happy birthday i am going to finish with this chat i am going to go get ready and get out of here because it is his birthday weekend and i'm going to give him i'm going to give him hopefully a wonderful time at disneyland we have dinner plan well, i have dinner planned and and I just, I want him to have an amazing day because he makes my days amazing for 30 years now. So, all right, you guys, I will see you next Monday for our Make It Monday event. Join me on our YouTube channel to live chat then 5 p.m. Sunday California time, 7 p.m. Central or 8 p.m. Eastern when I bring you something that's between 80 and and $100 for $19.99. Until then. Bye everybody. Me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Bye everybody. <laughs>